Hello everyone. Today's verse of the day is Proverbs 28, 4. To reject the law is to praise the wicked. To obey the law is to fight them. To reject the law is to praise the, the wicked. You, you choose a side. <laughs> you're either going to fight against the wicked or you're going to praise them when you reject God's law. I think about this best when I think about the rap hip hop culture, how they glorify things such as strippers and money and getting cash and doing drugs. They glorify these things. It is cool. It is street cred. It is just something that as a, a young person, because I remember being there, he was like, man, that dude, that dude's gangster. It was talked about in a positive outlook. So instead of, since I rejected God's law, we were actually propagating. We was, we was, we was praising the wicked. We was like, oh, man, that's that's sick. That dude's, that's wicked. That's that dude's a beast, right? You propagate the wicked when you go against God's law. I also see this sometimes in my my office to this day. Where they'll start talking about, I don't know, gay stuff and, and, and making light of it. Making light of, of looking at porn and stuff. These are people that say they're Christians. Mind you, to reject the law is to praise the wicked. There's only two sides. Romans 1.32 says, Though they know God's righteous decree that those who practice such things deserve to die... They not only do them, but give approval to those who practice them. Is that not true? We give approval to those who practice them. And, and it just goes. Street cred. Trying to people that are. That become popular doing things on media that is not good. That does not talk about God's statutes. We give approval to him. And Psalm 10, 3, and this really goes to, to those that talk about money. For the, for the wicked boast of the desires of his soul, and the one greedy for gain curses and renounces the Lord. They boast of the desires of the soul. Rappers always want to show how much money, how many girls, how many women. They boast of it. And it even it falls into normal culture for men. We boast of young men, at least, or should be young men, but it, it happens. But what should we do with this? I believe Ephesians 5.11 talks about boast best and have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them. When I was in office and, and everyone was talking about Pornhub and all this other things, uh, and he's talking about masturbation and stuff. I showed them an app that they can use to help them. Reprove them. Go against them. Fight against the principalities. Don't roll along with it. Don't use foolish talk. Joking. There's only two sides. There's Christ. And there's evil. Which one will you be on? The only fire, thank you for this day, Lord. And may we stand strong for you. May we watch our mouths on what we say and what we boast about. And may all our praise be on you. In Yeshua's name we pray. Amen. Goodbye.